It is a candidacy that has been born out of love and commitment to a deserving community and the intimate relationships that have been established and maintained throughout the course of my lifetime. The people know me, but unfortunately, I cannot change a thing for them or for myself by sitting next to them, by merely sitting next to them. I can only do so by standing up for them, and that is the thing that the City Council of Mount Vernon, New York. Thank you. And um, you can ask me a couple. Are you well, you still going to continue your campaign? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. Are you still going to continue? Yes, I am. The criminal complaint says that your eyes were glassy, you had an odor of alcohol. Lie. Pardon me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I apologize. That's, no, it's fine. I'm just saying your, the car was swaying, you had an impaired speech, glassy eyes, odor of alcohol. That is a lie. Why did I did not? I did not refuse the breathalyzer. The criminal complaint says that you refused the breathalyzer. I did not. So you think that there's some sort of malicious intent with your arrest because you just filed the petition? No. We don't know what their intent is. We can't conjecture about the intent of the individual on the other side. Well, you we said that you were just arrested after you filed the petition with the signatures. That's we, true. We don't believe that that has anything to do with it. We're not going to conjecture as to what the officers thought or meant at the scene. The allegation of giving up a different name at all? Those no. no. Allegations? No. Any other questions? Do you know of Lisa Goodet? Yes. So how would you if you didn't give it to them? But with regard to those facts, uh, those facts will come out during the criminal case uh, that we handled by her second counsel. Uh, the bottom line is uh, Ms. Maxwell <coughs> believes that she will be vindicated at the end of this case, but we want to make sure that the people of Mount Vernon have an opportunity to choose a candidate of their choice. So by uh, putting to rest some of the allegations, one, there has not been any criminal arrest based on uh, my findings uh, prior to this arrest. Uh, there was no suspended licenses at that time of the arrest, none of that. So we want to make sure that the, the people out there who are looking to vote who are looking at all kinds of internet and Facebook uh, types of uh, allegations, uh, we want to make sure that they get the truth. There are no DWI arrests in the background of this marabout. So I want to make sure that the community is aware of those factors. The issue of the case will, uh, <coughs> will bear out in the criminal court in, uh, through her lawyer that's handling the criminal part. And others also talks of not showing your license at all? Can well, we're not going to get into the facts and dispute. The police officers also have allegations that they made. Uh, we dispute those allegations vehemently. Uh, they can only be dealt with in the courtroom situation, of course not here. But some of the innuendos and some of the, um, uh, the allegations surrounding, we have to kind of put to rest. And especially since it is, uh, the allegations are very serious, uh, driving, possibly drunk, and, and if someone sees those headlines, do you want to say anything to them? I know you touched a little bit on it. Do you want to say anything else to the constituents about those claims, the allegations of something so serious? I'll repeat what I stated before. I was apprehended from, and I'll stop the over now. You just want to introduce uh, former senator, or senator, Eric Stevenson, who is a supporter of Hope Maribel. Um, so I just, uh, he's here, um, and he's here in Mount Vernon, and wanted to just stop by to let you know that he's also lending his support uh, to Ms. Maribel. Can I ask, so you, you said specifically that there was no suspension of the license at the time of the arrest. And now it was... Now, in, in well, obviously, when there's a DWI, that happens. Okay. When there's allegations of DWI, that happens. So at the time of the incident that her... The, the rumors of suspended license, there was no suspended license at the time of the arrest. And lastly, I know that you've... I mean, Loha did an extensive article that included arrest uh, in Rye and Bronxville. Um, what do you say to that or to Lohud? I mean, they... Uh, well, that is Maribel. 
No, that is that is that is a lie. I have not been arrested in Bronxville. I have not been arrested in Rye. If I have a ticket, I have every right to fight it, just like any other citizen does. No, no arrest, not even anything near an arrest, like nothing. It's a lie. It's a flat out lie. Pardon me, I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you. Are there any other questions? Thank you very much. Thank you for coming out. Okay. Is that a new thing to the mic? Lauren, what's the correct spelling of your last name? Razor, R-A-Y-S-O-R. R-A-Y-S-O-R. Yes. And Lauren regular? Yes. Well, what's regular? L-A-U-R-E. That's it. Old school. Thank you very much for coming out. Thank you. I'm going to put this here. I'll come in. I'm bored calling in. Yes. I'll take that wire.